Okay, so welcome to the unboxing video. Today's unboxing video will be unboxing a hard drive from iOmega. This is the cheap, it's a cheap company. Uh, but let's find out if this, if you get a lot for your money. So let's start the unboxing, shall we? We have this uh, strips all around the box because of, yeah. So not uh, someone can steal it in the store. Okay, and I'll also do a, a sound comparison to a cheap vestibule hard drive. So you can imagine how loud this really is, if it is any loud. So it has some, it has a, it has a plastic hair to, to show that this is not opened. Okay, so let's do the accessory box first. Okay, that was not a lot. Uh, okay, so we got a um, quick start guide. Uh, we got this, I guess it's the power adapter. Holy cow, it's a small power adapter. This is a 12 volt 1.5 amp adapter with the normal plug. Okay, we got. USB to Firewire or whatever that is. Maybe it is USB. Yeah. yeah. It is that cable as you can see. And it's the hard drive in itself. There's the alarm in there to just uh, it's loose actually. Take off this plastic and stick it somewhere somewhere. It's possible. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Don't steal my bed. It's secured with the alarm. Okay, so it is this foam at either side. It's like my um, my case was packed in this type of material. It's just a little softer. My case was a little more high. What should I say? A little more quality material because this is a cheap hard drive, so you don't cannot expect to get anything expensive with it. Okay, nice little hard drive. Uh, okay, so let's uh, it's uh, no LEDs, just at the back, uh, as you can see now. No ventilation, surprisingly, there's no ventilation on it. It means that it is a quite uh, assembled in Korea. Holy shit, it could be a Samsung drive in here. Uh oh, if it's a Samsung, we have a serious problem. Samsung is not good, but it's an iOmega drive, so it's a cheap drive. So it has that, that read write head which goes off the disk, disk surface. I can hear that by just turning the hard drive. So let's do the sound comparison. I need to hook it up to the wall. There we go. That's a short cable. Hack out the. Okay, and now. There we go. See if it can start. If it starts up, just we'll buy plug it in. Nope, needs to be connected to a USB port to power up. So let's just try to hook it up to a dead motherboard, which is not turned on. Just for fun, see if it works. If not, I think you need to find a computer system which can start. Not this. This one. A little bit worse motherboard, it's the MSI, so... Uh, no. Need to have a power source. I know! My HTC charger! Just pull out... That was the car stereo. 
just pulling out the uh, this or this section like that. Okay, so let's boot it up, shall we? Either that was a mechanical damage or the drive is like that to format the drive before you use it. It still spins and it is surprisingly quiet. So let's compare it with the Western Digital. Okay, so here's the sound comparison uh, to the uh, iOmega hard drive, external hard drive. Uh, uh, since it's a cheap drive, it is actually it it should actually be loud but it is really really quiet it goes really you can't hear it and only when the it's using the disc it work it's uh, yeah you can hear it very good when it's working and reading and writing files but let's compare it to the vest and drill like here you know what? I'm gonna get the camera a little bit closer so you can hear it. And that's it. That was the sound comparison to the I Omega hard drive. Uh, just uh, a little noticed, I found out that it is a Samsung drive in there. So unfortunately, it is uh, really, really bad that it did use Samsung. Why not Seagate? Why not Western Digital? Those are the same price. Uh, so they're using Samsung, unfortunately. Um, but. Surprisingly, it's 32 megs of buffer. That is nothing. That's not something you see every day. Um, but yeah, that's that was pretty much it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing video, and more to come.